What's she doing? Why you come by to watch a scary movie? Oh man. Yeah, yeah, I got. I suppose I got something you might like. Let's get in here into my watching bag one second and uh, see what I can find for you. you just pull it on out here. You don't want to watch a porn, I imagine. It'd be kind of awkward, you know, because we have our clothes on. We'd have to get kind of naked for that. No, we don't want to do that. Well, yeah, um, well, how about this one? Uh, yeah. You ever watch Deliverance and think, damn, you know what this movie needs? Bad 80s pop country songs. Less likable characters and tons of night scenes so you can't tell which, what's going on. No, well, of course you didn't. And, of course, that never stopped a guy most known for directing Power Ranger episodes from working on 1986's Hunter's Blood. It's so bad as boring ripoff of Deliverance and other better country thrillers like Southern Comfort. Southern Comfort? Oh, that takes me back. Oh, Lord. Oh, man. One time I got hold of some I Southern so. Comfort. But anyway, I was sitting there just a chugging the lug on it, and I was just thinking to myself, boy, what if I just stopped drinking? We'll have some fun. And then I just got to thinking about NASCAR, and I was just Is like, there beer on the sun? I just comforted me. Boy, I just, I'm a, I'm <laughs> I'm sorry. You ever look at a kid and you think, man, he looks like me, and you're like, is that one of my children that I done sired? And then you're like, oh, wait a second, that's my cousin. And then you realize, oh, wait, that means he could still be my kid? I live a sordid life, folks. I'm sorry. Our film story starts with some city boys, city slickers, <laughs> going into the woods to shoot deers. Shockingly, they find other, better deer hunters. These hunters are killing enough deers to be considered poachers and we all know that the only way to be a better hunter in some city boys is to <laughs> be a clan of inbred rapists and general weirdos it's supposed to be funny what's wrong with that eh? of course these two groups of hunters come into conflict because the city boys have nice shoes and buttholes right for violating <laughs> but of which are in short supply in these woods of death well the rest of the film comes down to a gun versus gizzard knife man versus cousin humper I know a few cousin humpers. Who will survive? Who will come out stained with a hunter's blood? Oh, Lord, this was a dull, dull movie. A large portion of... Hold on, that's Jeff. Shut up, Jeff! Anyway, sorry about that. A large portion of the movie's runtime consists of night scenes which are filmed so dimly you cannot see what is going on. I imagine part of this is because it's on VHS. I thought that was high tech. But even if a caring Blu-ray release, whatever that is, comes out someday, daylight scenes in the film reveal that the movie is just as uninteresting when it's better lit. I guess with these night scenes, at least you have room to imagine a better movie is happening because you can't see nothing. Or you can just peacefully drift off to sleep as the characters on screen complain about unknowable stuff like city life country folks why would you complain about that and beer what's wrong with beer i will say the movie has some good parts like clue gallagher aka bert from that wonderful return of the living dead that was the most realistic documentary i have ever seen playing a savvy hunter here he is easily the best character because he's the only one that isn't useless Apparently, Billy Bob Thornton's in the movie in his first role. Shucks. But it's too dark to tell if he's there or not. You're just gonna have to try and smell him, I guess. I wonder what he smells like. Oh, that's a nice thought. I'll remember that for later. Get back into my looking sack. Oh, yeah. There's also one really good gore scene in the movie that just oh, caught me off guard. It looks great. It's almost worth the rest of the trouble with this film. And man, what trouble it is. This movie presents rednecks so stereotypically, yet it then makes the stereotyping completely inaccurate somehow. What's your name? Bobby. Bobby what? Bobby Springsteen. Springsteen? You can't to Bruce? Yeah. What good old boy do you know is going to know who Brent Springsteen is? Woo wee, we've been plucking on this chicken so much it's almost as bare as my aunt on our honeymoon. I sure do appreciate you coming down here and sitting with me for a spell while I hemmed and hauled over it. 
Well, for a summary, if somebody were to ask me what I thought of this movie, I'd have to give it two Brad Springsteen fans out of five. Yeah, them hills may have eyes, but do their necks truly have red? Whoo, well, you guys come on back now. Don't be a stranger. Just come on, visit me. Now, if you do come back, don't come in through that door, because I'm going to think you're a census taker and I'll blow your damn head off. You come in through the front door, and I hope you knock. And if you do knock, I want you to knock like... Because if you knock like that, I'm going to think it's that goddamn woodpecker. I'll blast you too there. So, really, if you're going to come, why don't you just yell real loud outside, but don't sound like Bigfoot, because you'll scare me and I'll go and hide. You've got to sound friendly now, but come on back. Shut up, Jeff!